Watch this! Or even shamans. Uh, I don't think I'd keep a quality in this matchup. I'd rather, like, do my thing than adjust to his thing. And muster for battle is more doing my thing than uh, adjusting to his. So this is not an unreasonable opener. Basically, we just play hard for the board in the early game and try and make use of that to win later on. I don't like that many one-ofs. We have turned our curse into our strength. I say this a lot, but I think you need a very good reason to run um, one of a card when you have the capability to run two. I'm gonna hold on to this uh, blue gill because it like it doesn't it doesn't improve my trades in any fashion. So. I think I want the Thakal more than uh, more than the Muster because the Muster just plays hard into a, a Maelstrom portal, which I don't think he would have used last turn. Um, and this the call trades into the Eel, so it's a little bit more favorable into the board already. Yeah, but I think that deck is really cool and has some potential. Thalnos is so much better than the Egg. Oh, that's a great point, yeah. Is this a 4-mana 7-7? Seven, seven? No. Yeah, so now the muster makes a little bit more sense, just because I can use the weapon to actually do something into the board state. And then get completely annihilated by the inevitable Maelstrom portal here. No DK? There's a DK in... Wait, in this deck? No. No, this deck is um, anything with an aggro early game. Whoa! That is not, in fact... A Maelstrom Portal. Uh, you'll love to see that. Could draw two cards with this. I feel like the portal would have come down over the um, something there. Evolve is fine. Yeah, except he gave us a Murloc. This is a high roll, though. Wowza. Could rip the equality, but I think it's more valuable than getting one extra card here. Pona hasn't had the uh, portal yet, so I'm comfortable going in on that. Uh, can you check this deck out and tell me what you think? Uh, typically, what I do, I, like, it's hard to uh, pay close attention to that type of thing and stream at the same time. I'd recommend um, dropping that in the Discord. Okay, so this is an equality turn, and I'm glad that we saved it. I'm not glad that I have two anything can happen in my deck right now. Or in my hand, rather. I'm also not happy about the fact that I have to kill off this cute little uh, snow flipper. You want? No. No. I refuse. Boom! Sell out? Yeah, that was really the uh, the reason for that. But also, it's it's already hard enough to focus when you're streaming, and then like looking at other things on top of the other things that you're already looking at is uh, is a lot. Save the snow flipper. We did, we did that. You guys getting in there? Just no zihi, and we're fine. I mean, that's less fine. I like totems. I love. 
uh, save the golden one. So even if this cute little guy dies, at least we get to bring him back with the, uh, the any fin. We're just going to get so many tiny fins here. This guy thought he was, you know, ruining our game plan with the Devolves, but no. No, we, it was all part of the plan. Uh, I should have been counting damage, but I wasn't. So that's a problem. Uh, I think it's only four damage from this uh, any fin, though. Right, because he devolved one of the uh, war leaders. Yeah, so I have to make the trades and then trade into that as well. And we just set up the kill for next turn. Whoop. Double blue guild, double tiny fan. This should be a kill, though. Whoop. We're still a little bit short. But... It's fine. I guess I could have killed this off to get the chance for the full four. Then I wouldn't have been able to find lethal anyway. Oh my god. Uh, I think we still get there? Question mark? Consecration, please. Ah, that does it. Okay. Get that tiny fin lethal. Boom! So many tiny fins. I don't think on the coin I want the uh, the Molten Giant. I'm not really sold on like just going all in on the high roll, especially in this matchup. Mojo Jojo strikes again, I know. We have turned our curse into our strength. Alright, hit the idiot totem. Called it. Also got the high roll. I think I'm going to save it for turn uh, three, though. And then that's re that saves me a coin, so I can coin out a call to arms. Don't have a weapon here. That's even worse. What have I been playing against recently? Uh, even Shaman. And then some more Even Shaman. And then Even Shaman. So basically my nightmare, because even though, well, I don't actually have a favored win rate anymore against uh, even Shaman after that last nonsense, but even though I usually do fairly well against uh, even Shaman, it's still just the thing I hate the most and miserable for me to play against. Also, I like how you capitalize the U to make me seem like some sort of deity. Appreciated, but unnecessary. Doesn't matter which way this goes, right? Trying to figure out what the ladder with. Um, I'd recommend nothing until you have to, right? What rank are you at? Actually, that should have. Uh, I wanted this lower so that it dies. I need some sort of uh, card cycle mechanic. It could be either Divine Favor or Call to Arms. I'm not picky. Even Finja is fine. 
I think you should. I think you're going to have to play. I just don't know if now is necessarily the best time for it. I really wish that were a pirate. I think I can set up a better Sunkeeper. But yeah, I've, um, so I've faced a lot of uh, a lot of even shaman, an odd warrior, and then a bunch of uh, Exodia slash uh, mirror paladins. So a lot of the standard pros are high on this deck as well as um, Exodia paladin. It seems. That's a weird play, right? Not just me. Reporting for duty. Gonna kill both of the totems here. I mean, was it right to crack all the, the crawler? We do get two cards off of this Divine Favor, at least, or at least most likely. There are very few draws in our deck that would prevent that. Quality can be good, and honestly, uh, a Zihi isn't that bad because we don't have the... Uh, the Anything in hand. Nor do we have that many Murlocs that are dead. Yep. Should be able to get, uh, hopefully, at least one bluegill in here. But I think the game plan is to equality all to arms or equality consec. That changes things. This is looking pretty good. Is this too good to pass up? Yes. With one card in the opponent's hand, we're effectively playing three next turn, so I think we can just uh, snowball a victory. There's a good chance that this is Zihi. We'll find out. Wow, it's been a four mana seven seven this whole time. Whoop. Let's get this dead. Make room on our board as well. So we can play this. Portal is uh, pretty upsetting here. That is not Portal. That is Gen. Oh, this turn looks familiar, I think. Over trading, lol. I think it's right, though, given that there's one card in hand. Does 47 hold the rest of the month? It might be close. Um, I don't know. It's tough to, to say for sure. I mean, it, the, the last few days especially are going to be impossible to predict because things work a lot differently than they used to with MMR. We'll probably bait out a Devolve. Although I've got a full board, so it's not like I can pull that many Murlocs. That's fine. Ooh, we got the Vorax and a Tiny Fin. I 
No, this is too cute. We gotta kill the snow flipper. That was almost extremely dangerous. Uh, opponent needs to deal with this board. We've got lethal set up. And if the opponent does deal with this board, we just hit the anything. So the only thing that could really wreck us is I uh, like portal and Zhi on the same turn. But we have lethal even through a taunt totem here. Please finish your turn. Sure. Think this is lethal? The battle. Look away, chat. It's gonna be this is gonna be yucky. Cute lethal. 